Hello, Daz patrons. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorials on Daz Studio. Now, today's video is going to come from one of my subscribers who asked a question that I have been playing with for a while this week, and I kind of have a solution, so I want to share it with you. But what he asked was, how can we create some dirty hair? And it's a great question because we can add dirty textures to our skin for our character really easily, but adding texture, making the hair look dirty is kind of a different story. Now I do want to show you that um, skin texturing is really easy. There is the skin effects that you can get from Daz Studio and you can get this huge variety of different types of dirty skin like um, your character has been working on a car or something and has really dirty hands to their entire body being covered in dirt. Uh, they have different textures. So check these out. You can get like greasy skin. You can get dirty skin, that kind of thing from Daz Studio. And if you look at my Milica character, I do have those skin textures added to her here at the beach, like she's been rolling in the sand. So her skin is kind of dirty, but her hair is pristine. And so... I have worked on this a little bit and I've thought about how can I get some texturing with her hair and I did come up with a solution. I don't know if it's the best solution. So, you know, if you are out there and you have a technique for creating more dirty hair, let me know and I will add that to a tutorial. But for now, we're going to have to use the hair's texture. Now, one of the things that we have to realize is not all hair is the same. And so this technique might work for some hair, but it may not work for all hair. And uh, I'll show you this. And that is, we're just gonna add some dirt particles, I guess you could say, to her hair texture. So we're gonna open up the hair, open up the texture of the hair, and then add it directly to the texture map. Now in Daz Studio, I wanna show you this as well. In Daz Studio, there is a product called Ron's Dirt. And this was recommended to me when I was asking others about dirty hair. And this looks pretty cool, but really all it is is Photoshop brushes. And so you just get all these Photoshop brushes and I think this product also has some dirt texture that they photographed actual soil samples, I guess. And they have those on there as well. Now, I don't have Photoshop. I don't use Photoshop. And um, I really don't know much about Photoshop. But remember, I do use GIMP. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I would add some dirt texture to her hair and then we're gonna load it on and see how it looks. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're gonna select her hair. I'm gonna go to my other camera here that just kind of shows her hair closer up. But her hair um, today, this is just a scene that I made previously where she's at the beach. This is called country fresh hair. So I'm gonna select the country fresh hair and I'm going to go to my surface tab and I'm just going to select the whole thing. It's broken into a bunch of pieces. Well, experimenting with this hair, we don't care about all those different pieces. All we care about is the entire hair product. So I have that selected and I'm just going to go down to base color and we're going to select the um, picture under base color, go to browse and we're going to open up the hair product. Now this hair product has kind of two parts. It's got a uh, scalp, which I was playing with earlier. And honestly, I didn't need to really change this texture map at all. But then it's also got the, um, just says country fresh hair uh, 
texture JPEG. And of course, Milica has black hair, so we're gonna open up this in GIMP. So I just right click it, go to open with GIMP, and we're gonna open up this hair texture with GIMP. All right, so here's our hair texture. Now, what's cool, of course, is just like Photoshop, GIMP has different brushes. So I can select the brushes. On mine, it's over here. So I have these different choices. I can just go to my brush menu. And I was playing around with this before I made the video to try and get a good um, result. And I just chose this particular brush that's going to just kind of put some random blotches onto our hair. I also discovered, and you might have to play around with this with your hair, I don't know if this is standard for all hair, but the top of her hair, like near the part in her scalp is at the top, and then the hair down below, end of her hair will be at the bottom. So if we want the bottom of her hair dirty, we're gonna wanna uh, add some texturing to the bottom. Whereas if we want the whole thing dirty, we might dirty up everything. But um, I chose this brush and then I had to choose like, what, what kind of dirt do I want? So I chose the color and I just kind of chose a tan color because well, Milica is at the beach and the beach, if we look at her picture here, uh, you know, the beach is kind of a, a tan color. So we're gonna stick with kind of a tan color. My technique is just really simple. We're just gonna hit some blotches on this texture map as much as we want. I'm gonna make hopefully the ends of her hair a little more dirtier than the top. We might put a splotch or two kind of in the middle. But once we have that, this is as simple as it is, uh, I just am gonna save that by exporting it. So we're gonna go file, export as. I'm gonna change the name of this. Make sure you always change the name. If you save it as the original, you just copied over your black hair texture. So don't do that. So I'm just gonna put dirty hair too. And after I do that, it should be saved in the same folder as all her other hair textures. So I'm just gonna hit export hit export again and now we have this so when i go back to my milica girl we now have this texture map now you can see i played with it so i actually have two dirty hair texture maps now but let's do the one that uh, i just created which is called dirty hair 2 so i'm just going to double click that and you can see we just added that texture to her hair now, that's not a lot. I mean, I could go back and add a lot more dirt, but um, this is kind of the result. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a simple render before the dirt, and then let's make one after the dirt, and we'll look at some differences. So I'm just going to um, get rid of the dirt on her hair, and let's do a quick render, and we'll see what she looks like without the dirt. Okay, so I just cut it off, but you can get the picture as to how she's going to look. So, you know, pristine hair. Now let's go back and add that little bit of dirt and uh, let's just see what it looks like. We'll make another render here. Okay, so as you can see, we really do have some nice texturing on the hair. Now, is this perfect? I don't know. It just depends on what you want. Um, I really like this look though, where it does look like there now is something in her hair. Um, we can go back if we don't think this is enough. You know, if we want more, you can see there's more underneath here that's dirty because that's where I added more of my texture. But like up here on her bangs, you can definitely see some of that. If we want to add more, just a reminder, we go back into GIMP. And if I add more, I don't have to do anything but add more. Like let's say we want it really dirty down at the bottom. 
So if I do that, as soon as I save this, it's gonna be moved into Daz Studio. So remember, this is one of the perks of Daz Studio 4.23 is that they fix this. You don't have to save this as a separate file anymore because Daz Studio will automatically change it. And you'll see that right here in a moment. So you can see this new texture is automatically loaded into Daz Studio. I really like that. Remember back before Daz Studio 4.23, you had to actually save it as a different file and then go back to your base color and add it in. This is one of the things I recommend if you are still using an older version of Daz. If you update, this is one of those things with textures you won't have to worry about. And so I really like that about Daz 4.23. Anyway, this is going to add more dirty texture to our hair. So now if I set up a scene, she's going to have some dirty hair. Uh, that about wraps it up for this week. I hope uh, this is uh, helpful to you. And uh, if you have a better technique or a different technique, I'm always open to that. I love hearing everyone's suggestions. And don't forget, this is a Daz community. So I am by no means an expert. I'm just showing you what I've learned and my little tricks of the trade. So if you've got something, let me know. I'll throw it in a tutorial and we'll show everyone your technique. All right, so I got Milika set up here at the beach. We're gonna render her for a nice thumbnail and uh, call it a week. So thank you to everyone who subscribed. I'm over 1900 subscribers now, which is awesome. If you are still one of those people that watch my videos and haven't subscribed, you can really help out these little channels by subscribing, liking, and commenting. The YouTube algorithm is now dependent on those likes and comments. So I really appreciate everyone who comments, likes, and of course subscribes. Until next time, happy rendering.